Hello everyone, I'm Max and today I'm here to maximize your fear. So far, 2024 has been a year filled with many strange things cut on trail cams. From weird unidentified creatures to killers and to many other unexplainable phenomena. So today I decided to highlight some of the most chilling and downright horrifying creatures caught on trail cameras this year. So grab your Maximum Fear coffee mugs and allow your fear to be maximized as we recap the scariest trail camera clips of 2024. The following trail cam video depicts what is said to be close up and clear footage of a Bigfoot. To some, it's some of the most convincing evidence yet. According to NVTV, the location was near Klamath River on the Oregon and California border. The trail camera was strapped to a tree branch about 10 feet off the ground. Take a look at the horrifying footage. The camera initially put there to record a feeder below captures a behemoth creature. It's dark and completely covered in long shaggy hair. Its face looks terrifying. Its face resembles a monkey's, but it's obviously not a monkey of any kind. And considering the camera was placed 10 feet up, this beastly creature's height is estimated at around 8 feet tall, since its head is only a couple feet down. But look at the size of the arm and the leg in this shot here. Its limbs are too thick and defined to be someone in a costume. This crazy realistic footage has not yet been debunked, and is even puzzling experts. So what do you guys think it was? Was it a Bigfoot? On May 21st, 2024, a deeply chilling trail cam photo was released. It was taken in the deep woods of northern Maine. Reportedly, no wolves or coyotes reside near northern Maine, making this all the more strange. The photo depicts an insanely huge wolf with some almost human-like traits. And judging by the motion blur, this menacing looking creature looks like it's moving up to stand on its hind legs. And it's already partially standing on its hind legs, not a normal thing wolves do. The uploader also points out that the legs look almost human-like. Normal coyotes don't have that thick and round of back legs. And just look at the downright intimidating look on its face. Online users are calling this one a werewolf or a dogman, a human-dog hybrid. Supposedly, dogmen are often seen in the woods, with many having close encounters and even catching them on camera like this one. They're known to viciously attack prey and even humans, and they oftentimes leave big scratch marks on their territory. Even if this is not a dogman or a werewolf, and it is just a big giant wolf, and I mean giant wolf, it's still just as shocking. Just imagine how dangerous a creature with this size, strength, and speed could be. On June 6, 2024, a shocking piece of footage was highlighted via TikTok. Supposedly, a worker was driving his work truck along a park road completely surrounded by dense forest. And as he rounded the bend, his headlights exposed something massive hiding within the trees. As you can see, an absolutely massive figure is standing there motionless, trying its best to remain hidden. However, because of its huge size, it sticks out like a sore thumb. This Sasquatch-like creature is two different colors. The top portion along with its head is black, whereas from the chest down seems to be a brownish-orange color. I have never seen a Bigfoot sighting where the Bigfoot has multicolored fur, so that's definitely interesting. But anyways, when we freeze the footage here, we can get a look at its face. It almost seems skeletal or something, with no hair on it. 
and it's standing straight up with huge shoulders and we can tell it's extremely tall. Taking a look at the trees surrounding and estimating its height, we can't even quite see the ground in the footage so we know the trees go down a quite bit more, so this thing has to be at least 10 feet tall. The man driving the work truck said he didn't realize the beastly creature until later when he looked back at his footage. He was shocked and doesn't like to go back to that job site anymore, and I don't blame him at all. As the creature probably watches him from the trees knowing that he knows of its existence. So about a year ago, I did a segment on the Las Vegas alien sightings that occurred on May 1st, 2023, and now there's been a long-awaited update with new compelling footage. First, I will show you a recap of the footages released in early May, then I will show you the new footage that has just emerged, and give you the background information. It all started when police received this phone call. There's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us. I swear to God, this is not a joke. So there's two people or two subjects that are in your backyard? Correct. They look like aliens to us. Big eyes. They have big eyes. Okay. Like, like, I can't explain it. Now, this phone call is definitely chilling enough, but right before this call came through, an officer captured this on their body cam. The police then began to take this serious because they actually saw an unidentified flying object in the sky moments before the call was placed. Officers then showed up to the house to speak with the witnesses. What did you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yes. why I'm kind of curious. I what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big something with light. What I saw right now, I do believe in it. But then for some reason, they blocked out the rest of the video. They said it was because it was private property. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen lots of live PD episodes and body cam footage, and I've never seen them block out footage due to private property. This just looks super suspicious. Body cam footage is taken on private property all the time, but why was this time different? Maybe they blocked it out because it was something that humans were not supposed to see. Along with the phone call and footage, someone else's ring doorbell in the area captured this. You can hear as a loud crash and boom happens, confirming even more that something really did crash into the victim's yard. ABC News investigators even spoke with all of the military bases located close to the encounter, and they were all able to confirm that they were not involved. As I initially stated, I thought it was weird that they covered up the body cam footage. But now they have released that body cam footage and it turns out our suspicions were correct. Take a look as a veteran crime scene investigator and analyst goes over the footage. You know, I applied the same principles I would apply to any kind of a homicide investigation, right? Yes. And you have to look at evidence. Well, but the shadow, it could be this, that, or the other. No, 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 it cannot. Evidence specialist Scott G. Roeder is adamant and passionate that this is 100% legit footage. It's a little hard to see, but upon taking a closer look, we can see a white shadowy silhouette appear out of nowhere. Then we can see a shadowy figure appear in the top right above the fence. Roeder states, there are 30 frames that show a head with smoke around it, which seems to be some sort of cloaking device. Moving into the top corner and peering over the fence. Pretty much overall, Roeder examined the footage just how he would do a crime scene, and he came to the conclusion that it was real and legit footage and it couldn't have been faked. Pretty crazy stuff. This really could be some of the most convincing evidence of aliens and the supernatural yet. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments down below. Not much context surrounds this video except the fact that two friends were out on a late night hike. In certain parts of the world, it's an unwritten rule to stay out of the woods after dark. But for some reason, these guys still did. As they ventured deeper into the woods, they spotted something up on a rocky hill, something they weren't supposed to see, but it was too late. Hey! Oh, oh. 
They stumble upon a downright disturbing humanoid creature. It's crouched atop the rocks, seemingly eating something. Then it spots the hikers. The hikers make a run for it, but somehow it appears in front of them, causing them to freak out even more. It's a pale, skinny, extraterrestrial-like creature, just standing there, staring at them, blocking their path. Looking closer, it even seems to have dark hair on its head. If it does, it would have to be a different creature than the one on the rocks, or perhaps it's a shapeshifter or skinwalker. But obviously, the men made it out of this forest alive considering they were able to upload the footage. But wow, what a horrifying and unsettling encounter. On May 12th, 2024, a woman named Mandy would capture some spine-chilling footage on her security camera. She's had strange things happen to her like this on her property, prompting her to install many ring cameras, security cameras, and even trail cameras. But even after putting up these cameras, the supernatural activity continues. Take a look at what she captured this night on her front ring camera. Some white figure makes its way through her yard. At the same time, someone or something can be heard growling, let me in, right by the camera. The voice is scratchy and deep, but high pitched at the same time, giving it an otherworldly sound. The footage was taken around one in the morning and she lives on a remote property. She doesn't believe this is someone trying to prank her as it continuously happens and she's never able to catch them. And she's even caught many unidentified creatures on her property as well. It seems this is something paranormal at play. This trail cam footage captures something you don't see often. It was uploaded to TikTok by user BushcraftNick55 with caption, Coyote screams at my camera. As the caption states, a coyote walks into frame and just stands there. Then suddenly it screams, or howls is probably a better word. If you've grown up in the rural US, you're probably all too familiar with this sound bellowing through the night. But usually it's more than one. But seeing and hearing it so close up through the trail camera is different. Coyotes may look pretty cute, but they're obviously very dangerous. And I've seen a few coyotes in my life, but never this close up. Because I always do my best to stay as far away as possible from them. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this rare close-up footage. A man named Tyrone Jackson revealed some ghostly footage on Facebook recently. At first, in the footage were made known of an intruder, attempting to break into a parked car in a driveway. But unbeknownst to him, something otherworldly seems to be lurking behind him, watching him commit this crime. At first, you might not see it, but look closely. Despite the otherworldly presence, the thief continues on with his break-in attempt. When right as he's about to make an escape, he sees this paranormal entity. He sprints away, scared for his life, as the entity seemingly chases after him. Was this shadowy being a ghostly spirit protecting the streets, scaring away unsuspecting criminals? Or is it simply a camera glitch? Lots of commenters were quick to point out that it was probably just a glitch and a real person was chasing him. Yet if that was the case, it makes us wonder, why does the footage capture the thief so perfectly with no glitch at all, while this mysterious guardian is seen in nothing but shadows? That's why many are believing the first theory. 
that this really was a good ghost keeping a watch out and trying to protect the world from harm and wrongdoing. Taking a look at a shocking and puzzling trail cam photo taken on December 21st, 2016. Even though it was taken many years ago, it's just making headlines and making waves on social media. The photo taken in an open field surrounded by trees on the edges shows an unidentifiable hairy creature. We can see what looks like a head is the only thing captured in frame. The fur seems wiry and it appears to be a darkish brown in coloration. Because the only thing depicted is the side or the back of its head, we can't tell 100% what the creature is. But paranormal and cryptid enthusiasts are calling this a dogman. The half dog, half man creature I spoke about earlier. Maybe the creature was intrigued and curious by the never-before-seen technology of a trail camera. So it went up to investigate and got a little too close. However, others speculate that this is just a known creature that got too close up to the camera so we can't exactly make out its resemblance, so that might be able to explain it. But which way do you lean? Let me know in the comments down below. The following crazy trail cam video was captured by a man named Douglas Murray on July 23rd, 2022, at approximately 8.31 p.m. The trail camera is set up facing a small stream, but what it captured next was unexpected. A bobcat walks up to the stream or puddle, but he had no clue it was packed full with a group of toads. The bobcat gets flustered and doesn't know what to do as these toads just jump around and run for their lives. It seems too stunned to do anything. It could have had an easy meal if it wanted to, but it seemed it just wanted a drink of the nice refreshing water. Just a very cool and pretty wholesome nature clip. A different vibe than we're used to on this channel. This eerie and unexplainable dash cam clip comes from near the Quimahoning Reservoir in Pennsylvania. The man, who wishes to remain anonymous, captured the footage on his way home from a fishing trip at the reservoir. A tall, dark creature is seen walking alongside the road. It appears to be holding some sort of lantern in its right hand. Pausing the video and zooming in on this being, we can see it's shockingly tall. And it almost looks like a Bigfoot or something. But as the footage began to circulate, locals thought they knew exactly what the creature was. They stated that it was the Lantern Man of the Quimahoning Dam. The Lantern Man of the Quimahoning Dam is a supposed malevolent entity that roams the reservoir. According to the Quimahoning Paranormal Group, the Lantern Man is most often encountered as a distant and out of place red light. The red light comes from his lantern that he carries around. Only a handful of people have actually seen this creature up close, but they all described him as having glowing eyes and a skeletal looking body covered in mud. The origin of the Lantern Man comes from when a man tragically drowned in the reservoir. After the drowning, strange sightings began to occur on and around the remote land. The first sightings of this infamous entity began in 2013, however this footage here was taken on May 7th, 2020. So it seems the Lantern Man still remains prevalent to this day. All right, I think that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, go ahead and smash the like button's mom. Let's aim for 2,000 likes for another one of these scary trail camera videos. And if you wanna to get to know me more, you wanna see more of my spooky content, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram, Maxwell Fear, or you can go ahead and follow me on TikTok, Maximum Fear YT. And be sure to subscribe to the channel because only 14% of you guys who watch my videos are subscribed. And be sure to hit that bell as well so you don't miss when I upload. Also, feel free to check out my special Maximum Fear merchandise and coffee mugs. They're in the description down below. And also, feel free to check out my brand new second channel called More Maximum Fear where I post other content. 
All right, I hope your fear was maximized. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.